morning and welcome back to Wendy Hill Kennel. This is Sophie and her three little groundhogs. These guys look like little, especially this one. This looks like a little woodchuck. If you watch this little guy walk, she says, don't move my baby. This is our little woodchuck. Say woodchuck, chuck woods. How much wood does a woodchuck chuck? And if the woodchuck could chuck wood, I don't know how that goes. Anyway, they are so stinking cute. They look like little Brillo pads. They are fuzzy and round and there's nothing to them. It's all hair. It's all hair. And uh, so what I'm going to do today, they're two little for collars. I mean, I just do not have collars that will even come close to fitting them. Uh, they are about three, uh, three and a half weeks old. I think they'll be four weeks old on the 9th is when their uh, four week birthday is. But they're doing really good. They're scared right now because they've never been out here on this floor. That's why we brought mom out here with them. And mom needs a bad haircut, but it's just too cold and she doesn't weigh enough. Come here. I just weighed her and she's like eight and a half pounds. I know. She says, I don't know what I'm doing in here. She's our tiny, tiny little person. Uh, aren't you? You're a tiny little person. I know. You're a good girl. She's been a great mom. Uh, these kids are doing fantastic. They're just so tiny. So, a, a little bit of information about Tiny. I am not going to let these go home as, as normally as we would other other puppies. They are way too little. I mean, you look, this is like the size of my hand, and there's nothing to this puppy. Um, we're probably not going to wean them when everybody else weans their babies. Um, I want them to get at least 9 to 10 weeks old before we even think about worming them, or weaning them, sorry. Uh, they still get wormed on a regular basis. They're still going to get everything else on a regular basis. Are you just mad you're not looking? I love this face. This face is like so cute. These guys all have the cutest old faces. Um, I have tried to start them. I don't feed canned dog food. I am not a canned dog food fan. But uh, I wanted to get some extra nutrition in them. So... I've had them on, and not to plug a company because I don't like their dry dog food, but I have them on Blue Buffalo canned dog food. Uh, it's a 10% protein and uh, it's a high fat. So we've been giving them a little bit every day just to get them started eating. We've also put them on American Standard, which is a super, super tiny, tiny dog bite. Uh, it's an all natural dog food. and. It's plenty small enough. They are actually already starting to nibble on it and crawl in the pan and eat. I know you're wanting to know what I'm doing with your babies. I'm sorry. So just kind of a heads up. I know that's disappointing that they're not going home at, at eight weeks old, but they're just too tiny. And what's going to happen if we wean them too early? You're going to have a hypoglycemic issue on your end, and that's not a good thing because you can lose your puppy if they get hypoglycemic. So we're going to wait. Um, we'll kind of play it by ear and see how they're doing and where, I mean, they're doing great, it's just they're so tiny, um, which I was kind of afraid of that with, with her size where she is. So enough about that, but we will send you home. Oh, and we're in the office, so you're gonna hear the guys that are packing stuff to ship with the tape machines tearing. And our furnace just kicked on out here, but I don't think it'll run very long, so that's a good thing. Uh, but I'll send you home with a paper that tells you how they eat when they eat and how often they eat because these are not going to be able to be fed like a normal dog uh, morning and night. These are going to have to have puppy food at least four times a day or the way we feed is free choice. These guys can eat whenever they're hungry uh, so we don't have an issue with hypoglycemia. What are you chewing on? You got something on your toe? Alright, so let's start with the first one. Come here guy. Since we're already talking about you, let's just grab you. I don't want you to fall off my lap and break your leg. That's the other thing. If you have children, especially young children, and these guys are going home to your house with little kids, these are not a little kid puppy. Uh, one drop, and this one's going to break. See, I'm going to break if you drop me. Uh, they can't sit on a couch with you. If you get up, you've got to put it on the floor. Otherwise, it's going to jump off the couch to go with you, and you're going to break its leg. And I think somebody just piddled, and your feet feel wet. Did you just piddle? I don't think so, but you feel wet. They just got a bath, and she's going, what are you doing? She hates this scale. So when I put this puppy on the scale, she's going to have a fit. Um, I know I picked up the microchipper. I put her on the scale a minute ago, and she shot off like a rocket. 65.32 is, and Mother's so worried about what I'm going to do with this puppy, uh, is his number. 
He is one pound, 4.4 ounces. That's awesome. Yes, you're getting a fat little bugger, aren't you? There's your baby, I didn't hurt it. These guys have phenomenal, phenomenal coats. These, no, don't make him potty. She's still taking care of all the potty um, problems. Uh, mother dog, if you've never had, or and no one's ever told you, you have wet feet from something, and I don't see anything on the floor. Um, moms make them go to the bathroom for the first two weeks of their life because they can't do it on their own. So she stimulates them by licking them to get them to go to the potty. And she's still cleaning up. Oh, you're wagging your tail. I see your tail. Yeah. Um, she's still cleaning them up. We never see puppy poop from these guys. She cleans it up before it ever hits the ground. All right. So let's go with this little guy. He's over here wagging his tail at me. 6358 is his microchip. This is the little phantom marked Merle. And big, huge coat. They all have really nice coats. They're almost long enough you can't see their tail. Um, just a really nice baby. See, I'm just so cute. I don't know if Vanessa can zoom in on that face or not. I'm going to do some, no, don't make him potty. No, 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 no. Come here, you leave him alone just for a minute. It's my baby for a minute. All right, so I'll hold him still. Maybe I can keep her from making him potty. I know, you're just being a good mommy. I'm sorry. All right, so we are one pound, 3.2 ounces. Yes, he's on that heinous scale that you hate. <laughs> All right, this one's the last little one, and she is like the little, little petite Peabody in here. She is so tiny. And she's got no, no. He says, I'm checking my baby out. All right. Coats on her is awesome. She's got this little tail. I actually trimmed her hair a little bit so you could see her tail. Uh, we haven't cut their hair at all. Um, we just trimmed the face out. Uh, toenails will get trimmed again today. And uh, that's really, and we scoop their faces. She is up to one pound, 0 0.6 ounces today. So they're sitting here shaking. They're going, oh, this is nervous. And a lot of the times you'll see when they're sitting around, like this one's up and comfortable, but he's shaking a little bit. Uh, it's nerves, it's a, where he's at, it's new. Um, one thing when you get a puppy home, if you see it in a new environment or kind of uh, shaking, because I know, hello, don't you lick my face. I know what you do with your mouth. Um, don't pet them, don't try and soothe them, um, because what you're doing is re you're rewarding them for this habit, and I don't wanna reward them for it. I know it. I love you too. Yes, I do. You're not going to be in any more videos because you won't let anybody see your babies. Uh, I know. I'm going to put them right here on my lap. I'm going to put all of them right here on my lap. Okay? These will play. So these guys are doing great. Uh, they really are. They're, they're growing. They're gaining slowly, which I don't look for these guys to be very big. Um, they're coming but we still got a ways to go with size and uh, we will not spay and neuter at all until they hit two pounds. So we'll have to play that by ear and see how long it takes us to get them to two pounds. But they are starting to be up and more mobile. They're starting to eat dog food uh, out of the dry bowl. And like I said, we're giving them a little bit of blue buffalo in the mornings in a can. I really do not recommend canned dog food. Um, we use it here as a stimulator to get them to eat, and especially on these little tiny guys. I probably will send them home with you uh, with it on your list. Um, we've started them on a little bit of cottage cheese, and that gets them, and you're right in front of them again. Come here, come here. I know, you come over here and be on my lap. Um, so, it's just to get them eating and to crave things and stuff like that, but eventually, we will wean them off because I don't want anybody on canned dog food. Um, so I'll give you a list also. Um, I would really recommend probiotics for them. I use a great company out of Georgia. Uh, the lady actually that owns the company shows Great Danes at Westminster and this lady knows her stuff. So she's all homeopathic and they, great, they carry a great line uh, of probiotics and supplements for dogs and humans. So that's where we get all of our probiotics on, and I would highly recommend keeping them on probiotics. We'll send you home with some in a packet to give you time to get them, and uh, we'll also have some catalogs for you um, in your packet for these guys. 
so that you'll know where to get it. You can call and talk to them. Uh, they're a great source of information and uh, it's a great company. We've used them for a long time. So I hope you enjoyed their, their video. Uh, they're not doing a whole lot yet. You'll see that start to increase every week. Um, once they've been out here on the floor, they'll get a little bit more used to it. I won't bring mom back out here with them next time since they've already been out here once without her. And, uh, but they are cute as a button. Everybody that comes in, they says they look like little wind up toys. So have a great week. I hope you enjoyed their video and I'll have uh, some pictures on for you later on today or tomorrow.